Getting into Lost Ark can be a tad daunting. There's a ton of menus, a lot of items floating around your inventory, plenty of classes to choose from, a bunch of currencies to figure out. Everyone's always just talking at you. I can't believe these they demons are here. The demons are here. here. There's There's a a problem. Problem. Pairs were completed. We the we so to help ease some of that new game anxiety, this video is going to help you get started in this intense fantasy world. I'm Jamie Latour, and this is a beginner's guide for Lost Ark. Alright, let's start at the top here because we got a lot of ground to cover. For those of you who keep hearing the words Lost Ark put together but don't know exactly what this game is, Lost Ark is a top-down, isometric MMO ARPG full of PvP and PvE content, and yes, that's a lot of letters. It's got a huge story campaign that's full of quests and side quests and dungeons and everything else your little role-playing, hacking and slashing heart could ever desire. To begin your time in Lost Ark, you need to pick a class. There are five classes to choose from. Warrior, Martial Artist, Mage, Gunner, and Assassin. Each class has its own subclasses, gear, separate skills, and a whole bunch of other stuff for you to figure out. Talking about classes is a big topic on its own, and I want to be able to leave my room and remember what the sun looks like at some point, so we're going to make a whole other video about this topic. Just know that all of the classes are viable in some way in this game, and your choice really comes down to which one you think looks like the most fun to kill things with. Let's talk about your levels. There are actually three different kinds of levels in Lost Ark. First, there's your combat level, which is the level of your current main character. This is the level that goes up by just playing the game and earning XP. Then there's your gear score, which tells you the value of your currently equipped gear. And then there's your roster level, which is leveled up using roster XP, and it's shared between your various characters and gives them additional stat boosts. Now, if you want to level up your character in a timely fashion, stick to the main story quests. Not only will these missions give you various currencies, items, gear, and XP, but many of the early quests will guide you through the basics of playing Lost Ark. Just by playing the story campaign, you should be able to hit max level in about 15 to 20 hours, depending upon how you play. To get around Lost Ark's world a whole lot faster, you should make good use of your newfound horsey friend. You get a mount relatively early on, and you should slap that bad boy or girl on a quick slot as soon as you can. To go to an entirely different area, you could use Lost Ark's fast travel system, which are these platforms called triports. These let you warp to any other triport on the same continent once you've found them. And you could do that straight from the world map. Although keep in mind that this action will cost you a bit of your silver. To cap this video off, here are some rapid fire quality of life tips that every new Lost Ark player should know. You can make parts of your HUD go away by pressing the Alt and and X keys together. Lost Ark's menus take up a lot of space, so reducing the clutter makes for a nicer experience. Plus, you can take some pretty pictures this way. Hey, get out of the shot, lady! In the top left part of your inventory is an auto sort button, which will be handy since you're going to be picking up plenty of junk. You can also set filters to auto dismantle certain gear to clear up space. Get the hell out of here, green gear! It's probably a better idea to dismantle anything you don't want rather than sell it because you'll have plenty of opportunities to make money, whereas dismantling gear will give you materials that you could use for crafting. Last, but certainly not least, don't stress out too much when you're pumping your skill points into your character. You can refund skill points without any sort of penalty, so you're free to experiment when specking out your main murder machine. However, you will have to pay if you want to change the appearance of your character. So keep that in mind when you're customizing them because you're gonna have to dole out some cash if you want to rearrange their face. For more Lost Ark guides, you can check out thegamer.com as we've got a bevy of information to help you become the ultimate arcade. Keesian hero. Thanks for watching, and good luck finding all of those misplaced arcs.